and from Castleford Tigers, Michael Shenton and Daryl Powell. Yes, he's uh, he was in pain. He couldn't, they couldn't get his shoulder in on Friday night, so he spent all night with uh, gas and air, and had to put him under to put his shoulder back in. So uh, he woke up extremely sore and uh, in a bad mood on Saturday morning, as you can imagine. But uh, this morning he's turned up, and uh, I don't think the long-term part of it is going to be that bad. Actually, uh, don't know too much. He's going to. He's actually in Manchester this afternoon seeing a dude to get it checked out, see what damage has been done. But uh, obviously he's, you know, he's, in, he's in a bad way with it, but uh, I don't think there's a, a reconstruction type injury with it. Is he going to put him out of the World Cup? There's a chance it won't. That's all I could say. Short term it's a blow for you though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. It's, uh, He's, uh, he's been a big part of why we've been good, Stevie. What's the uh, options you've got then? Is Brett Delaney out as well? Brett Delaney's out, yes. So, between Carl Ablett, Brett Ferris, Jimmy Kynost, who can play back row. But uh, they'll, all, they'll all have to play a specific role. You know, we'd like to replace Stevie with what Stevie does, not another version. Game for Leeds. Must be obviously a bit emotional, but really excited to be back at Old Trafford. He come up short four times this year against Cast. Where do you think, as a team, you need to come together and improve to get one over on them this week? Um, yeah, I think it is going to be an emotional week and emotional night Saturday. Obviously, been been at the club since I was uh, since I was twelve, so lots of great times and fantastic memories, and obviously some some good ones here as well. So. Um, yeah, I mean, just you just got to enjoy the week, enjoy the preparation, and enjoy everything that comes with being involved in a grand final, and and go out there and, and perform on the night. And obviously, Cass, you know, they've been fantastic this year. You know, <coughs> great team, and you know, played really well all, all season, and probably firm favourites going into the game. So, um, you know, we just got to look after our end and make sure that we prepare well and. And do everything right, and uh, give ourselves an opportunity on Saturday night. So um, that everyone in our camp's excited and looking forward to it. Brian, um, I don't think I've ever known Leeds to be an underdog uh, in the in the betting stage, at least. Um, I suppose that's a matter of opinion for people. But um, do you think the experience you've got at Grand Finals is going to give you an edge over Castleford this week? Sometimes it helps you in prep. And. Uh, you know what, but you know we're not talking to, uh, we're not playing against a team that's inexperienced, and quite a few of their players are playing in some big games. Shenny's played in a, in a grand final there, so and Daryl's got a wealth of experience, so we're not we're not playing a team of novices, and uh, we may we may sometimes rely on what we did last time in prep. But uh, the thing is with experience, it goes out the window when somebody who's 110 kilos sinks a shoulder into your ribs. All bets are off. Emmanuel Stewart. Everybody's got a game plan until somebody punches you in your face. So, uh, you know, we're not getting too carried away with the old experience and been here and done it line. Darrell, what's your own team news? Oliver Holmes missed the semi-final. Is he in contention for Saturday night? Yeah, he should be. He's, he's trained today, so uh, we'll see how he goes through through the week. Um, we've got another couple of training sessions. Um, obviously, we've got a longer preparation than. And we've had the last couple of weeks, so he uh, he should be in contention, I think. Brian, we've got a couple of tracking options at full block, Walker and Golden. When will you make a call on who will play full block? Uh, when we've trained. When we've got past a couple of days training. How, how big a decision is that and how difficult a dilemma? Yeah, it's a big decision. It's a big decision for whoever plays and it's a big one for whoever doesn't play. Have you not decided 
No. Yeah, well, that experience was massive for me to be part of that. Didn't finish the kind of way I wanted it to, but Leeds were fantastic that night, so you can't take that away from them. But yeah, this is something a little bit different for me as captain and as a cast lad to, to lead the team out. It's something special, and, and, and the year we've had, it's, it's a great way to kind of to cap it off, and, and it should be a fantastic game. You know, Leeds are playing really well after the, the win against all, so two teams were on the top of the game, so yeah, it's exciting times. Oh yeah, absolutely. Obviously, I'm I'm from the, around the area. I'm a local boy. Um, absolutely love the club and and the way it feels at the moment. There's there's something special going on there. The fans have been awesome all year. Whether we've been away from home or at home, our support's been special. Leeds is exactly the same, obviously, massively supported club, so it should be a special atmosphere. You know, I was fortunate enough to play here in the very first uh, grand final, and that was pretty special. And um, it sounds like it's going to be an awesome crowd in terms of numbers, so um, our fans will, will make it something special for us. Hopefully we can, we can do their support justice with our performance. Thanks, everyone. Any more questions? How many banks are in Castleford? How many banks in Castleford? <laughs> do you know? <laughs> if a bank gets robbed this weekend, do you know you'll get sued for that, don't you? <laughs> it's not the response I'd give publicly, but. <laughs> okay, thanks very much, guys. Um, so, as I said, uh, the players will now be coming out and the coaches and big interviews on either side. Um, if you put your request in, please speak to.